it's Pastor Kim coming to you with a Friday devotion. To say that it has been an unprecedented time in our nation is certainly an understatement. No matter your political stripes, the mayhem and destruction at the U.S. Capitol and its aftermath in these days since have touched all of us deeply. Emotions run high. The very foundation of our country has been shaken. People of goodwill are frightened and concerned. We wonder what will come next. The Word of God, which gave me strength on January 6th, is the same word that I have meditated on every day since. Psalm 46 serves as a reminder that no matter what happens in the world, we are not alone. Our God is with us to guard and to protect us. Hear these words of the psalmist and let them bring you comfort. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of his Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars to cease. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted among the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The words of this powerful psalm are the basis of Martin Luther's most famous hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. A mighty fortress is our God, a sword and shield victorious. Though hordes of devils fill the land, all threatening to devour us, we tremble not, unmoved we stand, they cannot overpower us. This world's prince may rage in fierce war engage, but he is doomed to fail. God's judgment must prevail. One little word subdues him. God's word forever shall abide, no thanks to foes who fear it, for God himself fights by our side with weapons of the Spirit. I invite you to sing that hymn and to read and to ponder the words of Psalm 46. May they bring you peace of mind as you trust in the one who promises never to leave nor forsake you. Have a great weekend.